The Congress Americans have come to know in the 21st century is a place of strong leaders waging intense partisan campaigns. We are told that politics makes strange bedfellows, but today it mostly seems to make bitter enemies. So this is about a naked power grab. Those who pursue common sense improvement are beaten down. Reason is criticized. Obstruction is praise. How did things get this way? And should we care? Politics in the House had already heated up by the late 1980s. All of us, both political parties, must resolve to bring this period of mindless cannibalism to an end. There's been enough of it. Newt Gingrich captured the nation's attention by railing against Congress. We are in danger, I think, of having the House dominated by thuggery. In his mind, Congress was corrupt, power-hungry, unprincipled. Like many congressional reformers, he thought Congress should be a body that presented the American voters with clear political contrasts. But in practice, that meant putting aside the legislative virtues of deliberation and compromise. The trend towards centralizing power in the leadership outlasted Gingrich and spread to the Senate, even as Congress's inaction caused the executive and judiciary to seize policymaking initiative. So where do we go from here? The American public can get used to a Congress that doesn't work. To an alarming extent, they already have. The Roman Senate persisted as a ceremonial ornament for centuries, long after real power had shifted to the emperors. Is that the future for Congress? If we want our constitutional republic to endure, we need our legislators to get back to working through our biggest challenges. Why Congress by AEI Senior Fellow Philip Wallach is on sale now.